So I wanted to do a video on uh, the uh, slip start option here. So I don't have it on now and um, pretty bad conditions outside in the snow. And I wanna see how it performs. So actually in preparing for the video, I was going back and forth in my driveway and I actually got stuck. So if I put it in drive, Seems to uh, jump around a little bit. Let's try it again. Yeah, so what happens um, is that you press the power pedal, um, but it doesn't spin the wheels. So I got the. And it's. Yeah, it's slipping. You can see this indicator. So I got the power pedal fully down and it just won't even move. So when driving home that night, I was going up hills and no matter how much I pushed the power pedal, the car would just slowly creep up the hill. I guess I'm stuck now. So I'm officially stuck trying to go forward. It's not going. I'm pressing the pedal. Uh, Let's see if I can turn on the lights here. I don't know if you can see me pressing the pedal, but I'm pressing the pedal hard and it's not moving anymore. It's stuck. So if I put it in slip start and press the power pedal, ah, the wheels, the wheels go. I'm pressing the power pedal. I can hear the wheels spinning and I am spinning out. So let's see, I am gonna go in reverse a little bit and then go forward. And it's spinning, spinning, spinning. So in slip start, uh, the wheels will just spin based upon how much pressure you put on the power pedal. In regular mode, as soon as it starts spinning, now I'm pressing the power pedal, I'm not going anywhere. It, it sort of knows it's I guess it senses that the wheels are going to spin, so it doesn't allow you to spin. Turn this on, press the power pedal. You can hear it. My wheel's spinning. So slip start uh, basically turns off the automatic traction control. And basically allows you to just continue to spin your wheels uh, when you have it on uh, to possibly get out of uh, a tough situation. So Tesla's traction control system monitors the front and rear wheels, and if it senses a loss of traction, the system automatically brakes and controls the power to the motors. Um, you can disable the traction control through the slip mode, and it simply allows the wheels to spin. Even though slip start can be enabled at any speed, it's not really recommended for high speeds. It's primarily meant to get out of a stuck situation. It does reset every time you start your car so that it's off and it is not, it cannot be enabled uh, under cruise control or of course autopilot. If you're driving around in the snow, don't turn on slip start and leave it on like this gentleman describes. It really should only be used for a short period of time to help you get out of a stuck situation. Since it basically turns off traction control, it can be dangerous for normal driving situations. Let's see how all this works. Here we're looking inside the Tesla, the electric motors on the left, and it's connected to a single speed transmission. Electric cars don't need complex transmissions with multiple gears. You can get away with a single speed because the electric motor can adjust its speed so widely. The Tesla transmission is connected to an open or standard differential. This is used to allow the outer wheel on a turn to spin faster than the inner wheel whenever you're turning. Most cars use a limited slip differential to deal with slip situations, but Tesla decided to use the standard differential and then use software to adjust the braking and power output of the electric motor. A limited slip differential is a mechanical way of dealing with wheel slippage, and it's a more expensive solution. Uh, Tesla was able to uh, use a standard differential and smart software to create a virtual limited slip differential. 
This then allowed Tesla to offer a slip start option by simply not applying the brakes and not reducing the power when it sensed the uh, wheel spin. It's pretty cool because it was all done through software. Thanks for watching. If you want to see some of my other Model 3 videos, they're here in the top right. I just created a new channel, Nick's Pickleball Life, for my pickleball adventures. The name's weird, but the game is great, and you can find games virtually everywhere. If you want six months of free supercharging, please use my referral code listed on the bottom left. My Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram accounts are listed on the bottom right. And please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.